Today we are recreating Asmongold's $2 pizza. Now I'm really excited because I've never done the $2 part of a pizza before. Specifically, as you can see, Totino's Party Time Pizza Time Pepperoni Pizza, which sounds absolutely delicious. I've actually never had this before, but I trust Asmongold's taste buds above mine. So we'll definitely see if it actually lives up to the hype. <laughs> So you will. Now you're probably asking, why are we outside? Well, sadly, my wife has a variety of very life-threatening allergies when it comes to gluten, dairy, onion, and garlic. So in order to cook this safely, I had to basically set up outside. Uh, you should have seen the state of the kitchen when I was there earlier. All right, guys, so this is where the oven used to be. As you can tell, it's been overtaken by plants. Uh, this is the work of my wife. She's pretty much Poison Ivy from Batman, uh, and the kitchen itself is Gotham City. As you can see, she's got some toxic soil here to basically uh, chase off the uh, police department that uh, pretty much protects this place, but that doesn't really matter anyway because they're corrupt. You've got some poison, which is really great for kissing, and of course her man-eating plants which is very terrifying. Even Batman himself is so terrified that he left this portion of Gotham City unprotected by her wrath. But alas, now we are out here, so it's going to be really great. All right, besides Fresh Frozen, we have a variety of other ingredients that were shown in the video as well. Uh, we will get around to that when we do. So starting out, let's open this, this package. Of course, who needs cutting utensils when you have the bare muscles of your jaws and your teeth to basically get through anything. Let's go ahead and open it, shall we? Oh, well, oh, I, I got good stuff. All right, don't worry guys, we're a professional cook. So as you can see, this thing has quite a, oh, uh oh, that's not good. <clears throat> uh, um, it's, it's, it's okay, uh, <laughs> I, well, you know what they say, uh, oregano, which we have here as well, as Asmongold said, used to be called weed, well now we have actual weeds on the pizza. I've got the perfect solution for this, hold on guys. So. Uh, don't worry guys, thankfully this pizza is fresh frozen, so this is part of the course. If you drop it outside and you get weed all over it, and you want to limit the amount of weed on your pizza, you just give it a nice old rinse, you know. This is perfectly fine for the course. Uh, it just makes it more juicier when it finally comes out of the oven. You're not using that. Uh, oh good, you're not using that. That, that sponge is disgusting. Oh, well, thankfully I wasn't, <laughs> thankfully I wasn't, I was think, actually thinking about using it, but thankfully I didn't use it. <laughs> well, guys, we saved ourselves from bacterial infection, but let's take this pizza back outside. As you can see, this is still the same pizza that I had washed because it's turned soggy, um, but I didn't want to get a new pizza because if I did, it wouldn't be a $2 pizza anymore. It would be a $4 pizza because I spent two more dollars. So next we need to apply the pepperoni, all right? So any type of pepperoni will do. Uh, the cheaper, the better, of course, because we wanna stay within the $2 limit. So the way that uh, Asmund Gold told us to layer this thing is basically like this is, this is the city that you wanna nuke, right? So you have to basically pattern out, little by little, different sections of the city, so that way you get everybody. Everybody dies today. It's a win-win for you because you're not there. You can practically hear the screaming of all that is around there. It's either that or the birds uh, up above. They're very loud today. Um, probably because I'm out here. I'm usually not out here. I'm usually inside. Uh, I myself too am someone who 
is a, is a, is a bit of a hermit myself. There we go, voila. We want to add the cheese. Uh, every mozzarella tastes the same to me. Um, so I assume for everyone else that it tastes the same. Um, so whatever is the cheapest or the brand that you like the most, uh, just, just take it, use it. Uh, very similarly to how Asmund Gold talked about uh, nuking the whole city, this is basically like uh, firebombing the place afterwards. So you want to you want to make sure you get everything. Um, just just uh, cover your bases. If there's any survivors, you did a bad job. You failed. You don't want to fail. Don't be a failure like me. Since we already have some weed on it, we need to use the better weed, which is the oregano. Gotta be a bit generous on that, you know? The, the more the better, but overloading it will make the taste go, uh, bad. It's bad, so don't do that. Just, just give it enough where it actually feels good inside, and you're just like, hey, I did it, and then you're done, you're ready to go. I think that's how you do it. We've got our own struggle oven here. As mentioned before, uh, this is going in there now without the paper towel, of course, because you don't want to start a fire. Now, of course, I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, my wife was saying that this cord here, this cord here isn't thick enough, so there might be something bad that happens, but we're going to give it a go anyway, because, you know, uh, this, uh, this, this meal here is a lot more important. I've already spent two dollars on this, and I don't want this two dollars to go to waste. Two dollars is actually, uh, it goes a long way for me. Um, so we're just going to do it anyway. And uh, I've got safety equipment around just in case it goes bad. But I think it should be okay because this is supposed to be a heavy duty thing. It's just that my wife said it's not thick enough. But um, I think it's pretty darn thick myself. So let's go ahead and plug it in guys. Look at that. So the oven screams, uh, meaning that it's on. Um, now we just have to put the pizza into, into that one. Oh wow, look at that. It continuously screams at you because it, know, it knows that you're about to basically annihilate an entire civilization, which is the pizza itself. So that's a good thing. Oh wow, this is super, super wet. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a that's a wet, that's a wet pizza. Um, let's hopefully not drop it again. All right, look at that, guys. So I'm gonna stand over here actually, so you can see it go in. Here it goes, guys. <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you hear that? The birds are really excited that the pizza is finally going into the oven. We're just going to put it in and forget about it and uh, hopefully it'll turn out burnt. Uh, if you've ever seen my other cooking videos or live streams, you'll know that I burn things quite often, especially on my wife's. I might put a clip here somewhere if you see it. And uh, uh, there it is. We're just going to forget about it, but I'll stay around here so it doesn't ca catch fire, especially when you don't have a, a cord that can sustain this, this type of thing. So uh, don't do what I'm doing. That's why I'm here. So I can do it and you don't have to do it. You just watch me do it. Okay guys? <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get this baby started and forget about it for a while. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the, the oven button and just, uh, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just stop there. I just put a random number down and we're just gonna start it and hopefully it turns out well. It looks like it kind of exploded in there, but that's okay. Um, that's normal, I guess. I saw it a little bit with my own eyes. Um, it's probably from all that water earlier. Oh, oh snap, oh, it's done. Um, okay guys, it's done, uh, which is good. So uh, next is basically popping it out. Right now it's doing a cooling cycle. You can hear the It's It's the moans, the dams basically uh, flooding out its final moments before it completely loses its life. Fuck, it's hot. Um, uh, oh, wait, uh, okay. You know, I, my wife has used this. I, I don't know how to use this, this, this scraper thingy, this, this holder thingy. Um, uh, 
Okay, I, I'm serious. I don't know how, like, I'm being really serious here. I, I can't figure it out. Uh, so we're just going to, we're just going, I, we're just going to open it. Just going to use our hands. Oh, wow. Look, look at that. Look, look at that, guys. Now that, that, that looked good, you know. It does look like a genuine, like, this looks like a five-star restaurant uh, quality meal. Um, of course, we got to cut it, right? So here we are taking this here uh, slicer and we're going to give it a good old slice. So take a good look at this. All right. Now, uh, eventually you'll get through. I know I should be using some sort of uh, actual like um, surface down below. I think that would help out a little. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this table here. Give it a good old slice. I just want a good slice. There we go. I think the, the bars uh, are really helping with this because as you can see, it's sunk down. Um, so yeah, it'll be a pain to kind of clean up later. But hey, you know, like I don't have to put too much muscle into it. Uh, but it is easier to cut with this versus using a knife. So I completely agree with Asmongold, this is the way to go. All right, guys, so that's only, that, that's kind of cut. We've got a small piece, a long piece, and the big piece. Um, and we got our drink. The last thing to do is basically try this and uh, do it while watching anime. Uh, I think there's some burnt pieces in there, so we can definitely taste what it tastes like burnt. We gotta go get some good anime going first uh, before we try this because that's part of the step. It's very important without the anime or watching something uh, equivalent to the awesomeness of such things, the taste of this will plummet by like two points. So we need to, we need to make sure this has a fair shot. So the anime I chose, and you probably can't see it, but you can hear it, is Food Wars. I thought this would be the perfect anime to watch, especially when you're eating something. But the noises really helps with the appetite. Uh, since this is a food anime, right now they're talking about peanut butter squid tentacles and how amazing that tastes. Especially when you're hungry, uh, an anime about food will make you more hungry which will make you enjoy the food a bit more, especially when everyone is having uh, um, uh, experiences as they eat their food. All right, guys, here it is, the, uh, the pizza tasting time. I'm gonna start with this burnt piece in the corner. Mm. It's actually really good. You know, I like, I like burnt stuff. The taste of charcoal is really healthy for you. So I enjoy that quite a bit. So the uh, the small pepperonis give more of a spicier kick to than the bigger pepperonis. The bigger pepperonis feel a lot um, meatier, uh, healthier. Um, the two different type of cheeses really does, a real, that does mix well. You've got the mozzarella from the fresh mozzarella. They give it more of that uh, beefy, cheesy flavor. And then of course, You've got the small cheese, uh, or, or the, the pizza time cheese that came with it, that give more of that, um, you know, cheese dip type of, type of sensation. This is really nice. The anime really adds a type of sensation to it. It's like, it's like your taste buds is having a dance with your eargasms from the, the noises that you experience and your eyes are trying to compensate uh, what is going on. As you watch anime, you're kind of put into this trance, this trance of yummy party time, pizza time. Mm. That's good. You can taste the weed on, well, you can taste that on there as well. It really, it tends to like marinate it marinates very well, and um, sorry, this part of the anime is my one of my favorite parts because they're about to eat the squid, and she's going to talk about tentacles. 
and how the tentacles feel. Uh, the tentacles taste re taste really good. It's it's surprisingly filling as well. Mm. The anime also helps you eat faster, but also really makes it feel like the food in your mouth is melting slower. It's kind of hard to explain. You kind of have to do it yourself in order to understand uh, the sensation, but it feels good. This feels really good. The most important part, the drink. Their chosen drink will really depend or really uh, shape out your experience. I've got a Coca-Cola here. So let's go ahead and see, after I swallow this, if the taste uh, kind of kind of works. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. The fizziness washes it all down. It really gives it a really nice, like, clean sensation. Highly recommend you using uh, some sort of soda with this. Good job, Asmongold. That definitely brought the experience from a 10 out of 10 to a definitely like 15 out of 10 if I could raise it higher than that. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, was awesome. Uh, thank you, Asmongold, for sharing your amazing uh, recipe. It was so fun to do. I can't wait to do more. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, uh, this is Rimbites. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I also do live streams on Twitch. I'm getting back on, on board with that. Uh, so feel free to hop on there. Um, but I have a lot of content planned. Uh, it'll, the timing of it, of when it will come out, will be diff won't be as consistent uh, currently because I have a kiddo who, um, who is dealing with a lot of medical stuff right now. So he has priority, but I'll get things out. Um, anyway, it was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, until next time, bye-bye. <gasps>